Hello again, everybody. Well, today we're down in South Carolina and we are at the Historic Penn School. Now, this is a pretty cool place. Uh, you've got, uh, it's post-Civil War, so you've got all sorts of interesting stuff happening, but let's go take a look at this giant complex and see what we can see today, shall we? Now, as you can see, there's, there's actually multiple buildings all over the place now. Unfortunately, I believe that this place is closed on Mondays. April 14th, 1912. So, closed or not, we can still poke around and see some things. So, I'm gonna walk around and show you guys and we'll see what we can see. able to see anything nope looks like there's something there's some kind of blinds up in front of those windows I mean you can see that this, this property is pretty big I mean you've got buildings all the way over there you've got a welcome center With these big doors it makes me wonder if this had some kind of industrial kind of used to it oh wow you can see that there is all sorts of artwork in there so it's a shame that the welcome center's closed today Well, the Welcome Center's closed, but we can still at least get a look. See, this is uh, this is pretty impressive. Let's go take a peek inside the Welcome Center, shall we? And just to let people know, it's Tuesday through Saturday, so. And you've got other museums with Gullah studies. This is pretty impressive. So evidently this is Dara Hall, so it's one of the it's one of the uh, plantation homes. Now they're calling it Reconstruction Era, so I am guessing that all of this is post Civil War. Take a peek back here, and oh, looks like there's a collapsed barn back here. And I don't know what the numbers mean, but looks like a big picnic area. I'm guessing these may have been where they planted, uh, where they planted, uh, Food, either that or maybe it just kept it isolated. I don't know. And if anybody knows what these little concreted in spots, I mean, it, this one looks like there was actually a little fountain at one end. But I'm not sure. There's a little garden out back. Oh wow, that is pretty impressive. Although it definitely looks like that old barn has seen better days. like a big public area too so I'm sure that they had this rigged up to do interpretive stuff and talk to folks and there are restrooms I 
And I think this building looks like it's in some in some need of some love. But I am betting that they are keeping up with it as best they can. Oh wow, it is a big wide open area. Now, obviously I can't get in since the place is closed, but uh, you can see that uh, you've got a lot of these descriptive things in there. I wish I could see more. Definitely got some air conditioning in here to help keep the building preserved. Anyway, well that's that's this particular hall. Let's go back this way and take a look and see what we can see, shall we? All of these uh, grand old oak trees are just amazing. We're gonna go that way. Oh, that's interesting. There's a bunch of handprints on one of the silos. Huh. Well, incidentally enough, even though it's closed, you've got this interesting uh, butler house that was started in 1931. And I've got some more information on different sections, so we'll see here in a second. And here we have the but Francis Butler Lane. Now let's see here. That's actually a really cool old building. Let's see what they've got down here. Okay, well there's something interesting. The Penn Center Vine Vineyard. So they've got a vineyard that evidently started in 2017. Now, I'm guessing it's down here. Oh, we may be, we may be opening up on, uh, here we go. Well, so there's private property off to the side. That makes sense. There's a bunch of space in here, but there's the vineyard and yes they're very young I, I doubt they're even I doubt they're even ready yet but what's more even cooler is it looks like we're coming down maybe there's a dock or something down here and I'm wondering when they will actually start to have wine or if it's just gonna be more the grapey kind of thing. I don't know. We shall see. Okay, so there is a dock down here. That's kind of cool. And then there's, there's another building down here. And let's see, what's the building called? The building is called the Retreat House, and it was built in 1968. One more building for this side and then on the other side of the street we've got an entire other complex of buildings so let's go check out what's left and then you have the Frizzell building now, I'm not entirely sure what the Frizzell building has in but I think people are going in there so we're not gonna bother them so we're gonna go across the street and see what we can see. So here is the other section of the property and you've got the Learning Center. Now they do have summer programs so we can't go in several of these buildings but I mean, you can see that this is a, actually a pretty giant complex that they've got going here. It's pretty amazing considering it was the first school 
Uh, it's saying dining room, so I'm guessing, I don't know if that's the dining room or, oh, the dining hall is behind it. Okay, so, but uh, this was the first black school post-Civil War, and this, this is cool. They really had a lot of stuff going on back here. Let's see here. I don't know if I was supposed to have turned that way. Yes, I was. I don't know what's that way, but I have a feeling that it is private property. So we are going to go that way. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed our look at this pen school. This pen school is pretty amazing. So, I am off to go on some more journeys. Until then, why don't you go on some journeys of your own? We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.